do 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 and you're looking at the torch and the night sky when you're in with the girl to this night life press any button to continue I don't gotta see this load game so I had to go through I, I don't remember if you made it or not after but it bugged like that whole time when I went to check my saves it didn't save at all so I had to go through and do everything. I went. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was like 35 minutes because I went through. I skipped all the dialogue, and uh, it was right after we finished the statue. So I, I put put it on easy mode and ran through. I'm pretty sure I put it back on. What's it called? Um, Death March. Yeah, it was like a four or five quests. I was salty, but I wasn't that salty. I think. It Four or five quests. Do that, because I might be able to alt tab. Don't know why that's a feature. I'm on my dashboard. I like to have the video going. In case anything happens, like it starts artifacting or whatever. I don't understand that feature, but it's fine. Then I think we're good. Okay. I think I'll interact with my computer at all. You got Kanye West right there, dashboard, tweet deck, dash, um, then Streamlabs dashboard, gotcha. The four tabs I always have open, Kanye, Twitter, dashboard, dashboard. Alright, find the boot black, boot black who appeared in the vision. I found him. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Just who the spit are you? <laughs> Three guys against a nine-year-old kid. A witcher. A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like. After we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same. You're gonna beat up a nine year old boy. I can't believe you. How do you play again? I've been playing Dark Souls 3, Witcher, State of the K. I don't think I have one. Get me out of this corner. Stop. I'll take it from the left. You guys all cheer? You guys were all here ready to cheer for these three guys to beat up one tiny boy? Get me off of this box. One down. That should be good. Let's charge. Take you for a ride. I can just chain you. Slow now. Let's not do anything rash. There we go. <laughs> we leveled up. Dude, wet himself? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Oh, what? Get him out of here. Making things difficult for me. 
Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official Dutchy business. Come on. I'm gonna come back and kill the boy. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. A duo? What do you mean? Yeah. How do you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership. Where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow. So, what say you, sir? Ah, oh, I forgot my drink. I'm sick. Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Shine my nails? Uh, prefer going barefoot lately. But fine, have it your way. I don't even own boots. Step up, have a seat. You shan't regret it. Where did I get these things from? So then, oh, these are the ones from one of your patrons, the vampire area. Elegant black frock, not from around here. An arrival. Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Let's I've helped you. Five hundred crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. All right, let's negotiate. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. I mean, how about four sixty-nine? Ah, see, I knew we'd clinch it. Four sixty-nine, I'll pay. Uh, guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort. Earn piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you Can I take his boots off? The dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. 
Perhaps later. Get this trash out of here. Now, what if I didn't have any boots in my inventory, huh? Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Where did he go? Oh. One of those two? Are they not? What's in this game, eh? eh? When the boot black mentioned. Wow. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. All right, go into the window. Looks so goofy. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. That horse is still rocking. I wonder what the birds are doing. Don't rock the boat, horsey. Rule Guardian statue. He here. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. Detlaf, please, I'm taking over here first. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Dear Master Shopkeeper, for a long, long time I've been asking my parents to buy me a toy. Mummy always cries and says that we haven't got any money. Daddy gets cross when I ask him when we will he earn some once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Lara has a teddy bear and Mike Mikel has a doll with golden hair that you can brush with a real comb. I worry... That I will never have a toy, which is why I'm writing to you, Master Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you a long, long time ago. But I didn't know how to write then. Now I know if you have a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will look after it. I will be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I am little, but I will also know that toys are not really alive now. Uh, they only live in our imagination. But so what? I would love it very much, Isaiah. Oh my god, Rude is too much. She wanted a toy. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Yo! The circle with the bug lighting nice thing. I like it. Oh. All right, one sec, one sec.
Hopefully I'm good. Attic. Let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. A hey, woman. Well, is it actually like there? Like what is it? It's an actual drawing. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Daryl, please. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. This is lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. The mysterious woman? The one that turned into a Bruxa? And we see multiple mysterious women or women around. Are they all the same? Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Duac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detlaf's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. All of it written using the same ink. What about the uh, box? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. This slip is stained with wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Need more clues? Still got nothing, basically. Need to look around some more. Let's get to work. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home, and before the conjunction of spheres. Tools were used recently. Love unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Gerald, must you? Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. I'm not seeing anything else. But there might be like a hidden compartment, maybe. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Uh, eviction notice due to the non-payment of rent for the premises used by uh, used for shopkeeping purposes. Administrative court of Buclair orders the tenant Ulrich de Samp to, vac to vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed on the debater. Uh, debitor. The length of the sentence shall be de um, determined by the debitor's court. They live Victor Lemire. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't ready. I want to read the uh, card. Count Crespi called himself a knight, but spat in the face of silvery. That's why he should not die with a sword in his hand, but atone for his dishonor in town pillory. He was a rogue, and he shot by a rogue's death. You know well with Count Crespi, he's got what he deserved. Now it's time for Ramon de Lyac. That idiot thought he was smarter than a new penny, always his, um, issuing his judges, judgments, which broke people's futures. And next, he was a fool and should die like a fool, alone in the weapon in a dark alley with a broken neck. Count de Lacroix. Committed the um, basis of acts out of his love for money. He tore the shreds the heart of those who trusted him. This is why you will cut him to pieces and attach the coin purse accompanying this letter to his body. The penultimate victim of Milton Ten, Milton the Pariac Parian, he who should have shown valor in the defense of the innocent, turned out to be the greatest coward in Buclair's knighthood. This is why you must die like a coward. You will kill him during the tournament. When the hare hunt commences in Ducal Gardens, Milton will be the hare. He will escape like a coward. Then you will hunt him down and kill him like the hunter kills the coward. But I'm not seeing much else.
Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlaf killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Blackmailer, any idea who it could be? Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Ren... Renawad? Went... Renawade? Who's, Who's Renawade? It's one time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. I just gotta take this on. It's important. We're right back. My bad, my bad. You see, no one likes to talk to each other in my house, so they use me as like, the middleman. And it's just stupid. Uh, what do you think happened to her? Why did he believe she gone missing? What do you think happened Maybe to her? You have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. 
I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it... Didn't you just say like five minutes ago you didn't know who she was? Go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Detlaf ever try to uh, look for her? Detlaf ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renewed knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. I'll say somebody actually kidnapped her this time. Even if Renewed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Blackmailer, curious about him? Blackmailer. Kind of curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Right, you are. Let's sum up what we know. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. True. Actually, it is. Deadlaugh's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. Not a wit with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Oh! Emilia Reader's prophetic Tisha of God of Fear. Where children toy all, toys waste away. What are you doing, boy? Wine is sacred. I have everything done, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> so many races and went. Ah. I know that question marks can be considered quests. Like, some of them can have quests behind them. But, I don't really care that much. If I come across one, I'll do it. I've been playing this game for like four months now. I'm ready for it to end. But I will do everything that I come across. But I won't go out of my way. Grab anything new. This is already ID as the um, quest itself. Like an exclamation point in the map. I'm only gonna play for like an hour and a half too of this game, and I'm gonna do like probably Dark Souls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish Dark Souls 3 tonight. My second playthrough. So we can get ending 4 and all that. We're close. We're at Lothric's castle. 
Kill the armor, and I'm ready. Ben is just grind out covenants. Oh god! No! Please! Have mercy. <laughs> so how when is my most recent part going out for this game? Is it the twenty seventh? I think it's the twenty seventh. Oh. So I really want to start what's it called soon too. Um a game that I mentioned last time that I forgot again. The deal with the coffee. But don't you talk to me. Because I never finished it, and I always wanted to. But I just... I feel like I had to restart, because of my, the way I left the map. With every vehicle out, I guess. Why do they run here? Also, the torchway. I got a mob. I would do more Witcher at uh, more Witcher than an hour and a half, but I think I'll administer eye drops in the next hour, so I think it's a good time to switch. I'll be gone for like ten minutes probably. The Chris, I doubled the god. Garrot of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived, and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case has got more complicated. Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We Let me explain, lady. Disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Stay out of this. Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still up. brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Nekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? There is no... This is no common monster. It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, <laughs> impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. 
They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Wanna find him, try to talk to him? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ha. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. An instant woman's been inducted. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only have the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? Free the vampire's lover. I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Almost done, almost done.
Alright. Since I was gone for like 10 minutes of this, I'm just gonna have it be one, like, hour and a half video. In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluz, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Sala, too. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue de Burgundy. Clarity <laughs> high. It's simple. Sans Real. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. A specific wine, tell me more. Song real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Uh, what do you mean, we? Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Always with the pointy hoods. Sometime later, the road to get to the Raviolo. Ravioli. Run, dear, run. This game was never meant for you. Run, dear, run. This vampire. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Why are we galloping? Yo, boys, get out of here. What is this monstrosity? Who do you think you are, Mr... I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's fine. The one told me. It was a Shalmar trophy, right, right. I did go back on Death March, right? I must have. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna double check. 
Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Stay back, Your Grace. We shall see to this. Back, you beast! Be gone! Help! Save me! Back, you beast! Be gone! Done for. They were for Thank you. By. You saved our lives. <laughs> Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. By it's not far, do you mean we're here? We do. Come on now. Guess it's a chap. Tui. Huey. Castel Ravioli Estate. We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your Grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Here for an inspection. This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. And who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about saint Real? I am at your service. Uh, who's got access to your wine? The Saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Saint Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. How's the wine transported? Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have. Which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not or even somebody. realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. B but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person 
thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. You done messed up, Fabrico. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. I knew exactly where to go. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Are you gonna... Is it magic? It wasn't put in... Oh, oh is it right here? Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is. Barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Ah, yes, that sophisticated palette of his. Got Pamino over here. Summer One year away. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Will be below me then? Or it would be a crossover this way? San Real. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right. Here we go, San Real, 1269. Right here, 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. 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 This one's full too. You do one. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Real? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Find barrel taps and find a tapping hammer. Did not need that. Oh, leave them on the ground, that's fine. Wooden hammer for tapping barrels. Got the taps. Then get to work. Let's broach those barrels. Ready. Step aside. You don't need a full glass, lady. Just like a little so, couple mm, drops will do. I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. 
No, no, just go that way. It's fine. Oh, apparently, I, I did it. That's the one. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. What if it was poison? Listen, Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered it was... Enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything. If you agree to show me mercy. Really thought nobody'd find out? Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, your grace, you must forgive me. Who'd you sell the wine to? you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name. He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. How did you deliver the wine? The wine itself. How did you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it, have it ready to deliver. That's enough. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sintry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. I am ready right now, big girl. Let's start. I see no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You will take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. And my signal is... I was hoping I could drive the cart.
favorite vintner. It's not him. My batteries are dead. Lovely. Oh my god, that's more than there was. Instant death, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna get my drink that I live upstairs. I have most reason to say, be back. A few hours later, we don't have to see this. It's fine. You hit me in my what's it called? Part of me? Why instant death him? Please. Sorry, Knight. He's okay. I'll be fine. We don't want to kill Hornets, right? Or whatever his name is. I can find out about him unless he has a note on his body. He is getting walloped. Other dude's going in. Surrender, Hornets. Give up. Okay, he's not giving up. Just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Uh, had no reason to trust me, we did what we came to do, that's all I meant. Oh, that'd well, be nice. Had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True, you are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Might have known. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> Captain, 
do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him... Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needed. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? Oh, this is kind of bit his last resort. Usually only take measures like that as a last resort, but in this case, I think I can make an exception. Do as you deem fit. He is all yours. I wasn't actually Captain, listening to her, so... Men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters. Provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let them... Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Where are those barrels going? Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader. Only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? Who hired you? He... he'll kill me! Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go. Let's go to town. Oh, Geralt. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. I forgot. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's noses. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Cintrian can actually be a middleman. Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, 
he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Centrium does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Uh, not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. With your face? A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. A singer? You've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora, what's that? The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Need to nab the Centrium? Gotta nab the Centrium. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. I think so. Out of the question. If the Cynthian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. I really want to acquire this attire. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have any outfits. <laughs> Audacious rat, the Cintrian. But we'll get him. We're we talking on him? Be cautious. Got her great audacious rat, the Cintrian. But we'll get him. Where does she go? She disappear? Okay. Ah! This is optional. Hey, is that not this cur with the price on his back? It's him! Get it! Stop! <laughs> Look at this guy, he's a nice boy. What did you think was going to happen after you would then eliminate me? Like... You'd never be allowed back in town. It's some death in the guy with 2 HP.
Bam bam. Also, we have three points now, right? Character. So we can grab this, and then finally this one up here. Did I switch it? Which one I have? No. Hold it, woman. Are you hooded? I'd be calling it soon, too. It's 30, 9, 30. I'm gonna play another like five or six more minutes. Probably get to the next area. Or the thing. Yeah, it's like right there. I'll probably get into the establishment and save it there. I won't uh, I simply won't Sacre blue. It's a crime. Pardon me? You're from the north. That's I'm sorry to the French now wear towels. Excuse me. There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands. You know, it's like three in the morning. I'll just I'm We're red. Let's let's hit the red. Elegant you player double. I need the boots probably and the pants. There we go. What are you? Oh, die solution. Thanks. Ever your servant, sir. I probably need to remove the bird mask if I had to guess. I think we're good. Meet Anna Henrietta in the mount back alley. Monte back. Where's your door? Nice tune. Yeah, I like the uh the orchestra ah. to girl. Right, you can hear it. Not to be missed by your ticket. Late. Now, why does that not surprise me? Sometime later. Look at the orbs. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. My, my, Geralt. Not bad at all. And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. Huh? They're a little different, the ones Mandragora members <laughs> I've brought you one. Put it on. Why do they wear masks? Any idea why they wear masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Let's go inside. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. Did I hide them? How do we find the Cintrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. 
Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora's soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Uh, what are these performances? Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has some. A shame. We would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master Oof. of visual illusions, come to us from far off Afir. Visual illusions? Interesting. And the third artist? The third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. Looking for Cecilia Belante? We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Belante. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm. I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the Orchid. I think I know what that orchid well, looks like. Well, Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Alright, I'm gonna save it here. Take part in this area's entertainments. You know, don't mind if I do. But when I get back. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop.